on Cursed Hollow, our blue team from the Great Britons and all over the globe. They are SK Gaming and they have Bakery on the Zebo, BZ playing Sergeant Hammer, Link playing Rhaegar, and the mid lane Zarmini on Muradin, bot lane taken by Araragi on Thrall, and their opponents quite fearsome with the Lord of Terra. They are Team Alternate in the Red Trunks, Mopsio playing Diablo himself. In the mid lane we have Vasiliano playing Zeratul and in the bot lane Merfurion played by Gluehammer and Guccio playing uh, Vala while Remax is playing uh, Uther. Dear Uther. <laughs> Alternate please Diablo, yeah I gotta go along with that. Not really something you usually see. Beezy already sieging up here. And they have BZ and Bakery in the same lane alongside Link. This is just a, such a strong pushing lane. I think Alternate will have to react to this. Um, otherwise they, they'll they be in a bad spot later on. And once... Uh, yeah, once SK actually gets a lead going in the levels, I think they're gonna be quite fine. Oh, uh, Thrall might need some help down here as well though. That's a really strong pushing combo as well. Not quite as strong as Nazebo and Hammer, but still. Alright, let me show that tab screen for Mr. Hero's Tempest. And yeah, Aragni is just gonna play it super, super safe. He knows he can't stand this. I mean, um, it's Uther he can put on the stun, uh, Gluehammer can root him, and then Gucho just puts out massive damage. So, oh yeah, that's exactly the dangerous situations that Aragni needs to watch out for. But he gets back into lane, knows there's uh, still a decent, um, decent cooldown on the entangling roots, but it's back up. No place for SK, well, we'll have to see. We'll have to see Zamini rejoining his lane again. And that top lane already being pushed down, look at that, we'll have a siege damage com a comparison here coming in. Siege damage so far, 7000, 5000, and Rhaegar's also in that lane, so 5000 up there as well. Compared to, well, 5,000 for Vala, Uther 3.5, and Mafurian 3.5. So that is just a massive, massive boost up here. Now it's just Nazebo and Bakery, uh, <laughs> Bakery on Nazebo and BZ on Sergeant Hammer doing this all by themselves. Yeah, Linked has joined Zarmini to possibly kill out Vaziano. Oh, he needs to watch out, there's the stun, and Wurden. Oh, he almost made it happen. But not quite, there's some, there's some little rotation coming out, and Bakery joining the mid lane again. Down here Thrall meantime, yeah, he needs to watch out. Low on mana and three heroes joining, but alternate, they don't want to waste any time. They're going for that first tribute. Going up there, they might meet SK in the middle here. But Zeratul's coming in from the right side. <laughs> Where's Ocelot in SK? Ah, different game. Oh, Mopsio's in trouble. Here comes the body block out of Zarmini. He's not gonna get away. And that's a 5v4 fight for SK if they want to go for that tribute. And I'm sure they will. Bluehammer trying to come in from the bottom. But they're closing in. A great zombie wall with Vasiliano reacting so swiftly here. Immediately picking out. Rymac is caught out. But a good route keeps our Ragi back. So they will get that first tribute for free. And grab a hero. Just to pay him for their troubles. Let's see, who's gonna return to which lane? Looks like we'll have the same lane compositions once again. Thrall trying to make a return here. But he might need some help. Maybe Thrall and Rhaegar can't, could pull something off down here. Or just do an entire switch and just leave Nazebo solo top. I think that looks okay. He'll just have to play a little bit safer, but that's alright. That's alright for him. Sergeant Hammer, meantime, has switched to mid lane. And we'll have Rhaegar and Thrall going for those uh, Bruiser camps over here. And they are both level 7 now, so let's check out their talents. Battle Momentum on Thrall and Valor. We have first A taken by Sergeant Hammer and Clairvoyance taken by Nazebo. Down here we'll probably keep a close eye on Diablo. Soul Feast. So it gets more health regen and amplified healing and with death, so it gets a little more souls and stack up a little better. Ooh, the next tribute is coming in, so we'll have a close eye on that. Hoofer, already grabbing it for free. 
Well, that was the perfect position for alternate. But that's a good, really good tribute for them. They really needed this one. If SK would have gotten the uh, two tributes and the first one pretty much for free, um, and they already have a little bit of um, an XP advantage, that would have been quite disastrous and could have led to some snowballing here for alternate. Ooh, they're not even gonna clear up all those uh, bruises just yet. Wanted to catch out SK in top, but that's not gonna happen. They need to defend mid lane. Tower's already out of ammo, pretty much. And, ooh, BZ is in trouble, Diablo. Could go for it. Ooh, what did he just do? He just completely missed BZ there. This could have been an easy pickup. Yes. Um, do we have any mods in here right now? Maybe you could take care of uh, the link spamming. Google, please. Or Mr. Creative Learning TV. <laughs> or anyone else that wants to apply for a mod. I know some of you guys really join quite often. ESS Wiz. Maybe. <laughs> Alright. Second tribute also going to alternate. But SK, they're going for that. They're going for the boss. They don't have that much of an XP lead anymore. An alternate, they're just waiting for this moment. They're just waiting for this to happen. See how they can engage this. But SK disengaging the boss and maybe, maybe catching something here. But nope, Clairvoyance is thrown down. Well, that's not gonna happen. Really, really interesting to see them all returning to the same compositions again. Except that mid lane, that's gonna be pushed pretty hard now. That uh, top is, well, pretty much almost gone for SK. Um, well, taken out by SK, rather. Alright, I'll give him a timeout. And that final tribute is coming in. Could be the final tribute for alternate. Mopsio started channeling. But here is where BZ comes in. With some good napalm strikes. Double pens are available. I don't see any real surprises. Ivan of Spirit and Ancestral Healing up here. Napalm Strike, of course, uh, taken by Sergeant Hammer. Oh, Matsu tried channeling again. And there's the Void Prison, Bakery, BZ, Zarmini, all caught in there. And there's the fire. Nazebo goes down. Oh, and Malfurion taken out on the other side. And BZ caught in the Reign of Vengeance. Take quite a few shots, but he gets healed back up. Araki now in the midst of it. And Remake doing his thing. And will he be taken out for this? Bucho trying to save him, but I think he might be. Yep, he's gonna go down. He's gonna go down for sure. Vazignano giving chase here. And Mopsia also getting in the midst of this. But Vazignano, he's trying to take out Hammer, and she's being displaced. But both of them go down. Guccio caught out now. Aragni and, uh, and Zami trying to get on top of him. But Link, can he get away? Yes, he might. Ooh, what a lucky strike here by Mopsio. That flame strike. Wow. Firestorm, really? <laughs> Did that just happen? But now Diablo goes down. And SK, can they turn this around? Yep, Malfurion goes down. That was the longest range. <laughs> Longest range on that ultimate, and that's them going for the second tribute. Where um, SK, oh, getting ahead again, almost a level advantage now, and this is gonna give them some time to go for their boss. Zeratul is getting in position. He's gonna scout this out, but Easy already giving some shots off. And oh, they scouted out Zeratul, so he's not gonna go for that just yet. And Uther is down here trying to join him, but they can't really do all that much. Just two by himself. Do have Divine Storm available? And now all the hero heroics get back up. And Rymek is trying to get in there, but no steal happening. SK going for that boss. Alternate just getting there a little bit too late. And even though for the Bruises can't follow it up. Alternate, uh, they're gonna have to react, they're gonna have to stop that boss, possibly go for their own boss at the same time, otherwise um, they might run into issues, they might have two bosses on their hands. And the top lane is already almost gone, that fort took quite some damage already, it's, well, that is pretty much gone, there's not gonna be anything they can do about that. Next tribute is coming up, oh jeez, this is the worst situation for alternate. SK, they could either go for that tribute, um, they could go for a fort right now, and worst of all, they could go for all of them at once. And level ahead, Mopsio joining that fray. Aragi caught out a little bit there on the right side. 
But, ooh, an amazing zombie wall and a good void prism. Everyone's running in there. Mopsio going for the lightning breath on BZ, but there comes the healing. First aid comes in. Aragi healed up, wake up as well. Mopsio trying to stomp him out, but Zero Tool goes down. So goes Vela. And Uther falls as well. This is gonna be SK Gaming going for that. Wow, going for that ace! They're going for the ace. They have the boss pushing. They're gonna go for the final tribute. And. With that, they're gonna have a keep on their hands, I'm sure of it. Yep, that's the curse going down, the boss wailing away at the perfect timing. He's quite low already, he had to take out that other fort, but this is the entire team pushing with it. And they have uh, some bruisers in mid lane as well, so that keep is in trouble. Alternate wants to stop this, can they though, can they? Their heroics are not back up yet. Sundering is available and the keep falls, boss is still up. Wow! What an amazing move here for SK Gaming. Midfort taking quite some bit, quite bits of damage here by Zarmini. That was a little bit of a split push, and now the siege camp even taken. That was a little bit risky, but they're three levels ahead. Alternate can't seem to find a way in this game, but everything just snowball, snowball from that one fight not going their way. And now that's the midfort falling. But really, when it, when it's curse time and your level's behind and that fort already taken damage, you can't really make that stand. It's not gonna happen. Wow! The sea giant's already wailing away at the, ne at the core. Didn't do all that much damage, but still. Just gonna get those shields down. And that's gonna be a boss steal coming in for SK. Wow! These guys are just on top of things. Stone skin being taken here by such hammer. Oh, that's a no nice void prison. Zomni caught in there, but glue hammer is going down immediately. And Rimzik also in trouble. But a good lightning breath and a nice was this? Yeah, nice steal people alternate. Good steal. Rimek might go down for it though. But this this was a good move here for alternate. Oh Rimek, he's gonna fall, is he? Jeez. Gets away with the no, doesn't get away. He had 136 damage, but still. Oh, Zarmini, he's gonna be trapped here, though. Yep, and that's Zarmini going down for 2 for 1. Still not back. A nice, nice move here. Alternate tried to save himself, and they certainly did with this move. They certainly still stand a chance now. If that, if that boss would have hit their top lane, um, that could have already been game. But now, going for the steal on the boss, um, that definitely gives them a chance. Gives them a little bit of a breather. They could go for um, some camps that might come up here pretty soon. 40 seconds on that camp. Uh, too long on that bruiser. And this one is just too risky to take. Uh, then not really the perfect time, but they had to stop them. They had to stop that boss. Alright, so what is alternate really going to do here? Of course get rid of the minions in the lane. That makes a lot of sense. And Zero Tool scouting out where SK is at. That's really important. That's something that not all of these, um, not all of the Zero Tools, Zero Tool or Nova players are really doing that well. You want to scout out where the opponent team, opposing team is at. Uh, but uh, I gotta say that Zero Tool is not really using um, his Void Prisms to the full effect. They were always kind of helpful for the opponents as well. So I'll finally get that bruises up. But uh, so does SK, and they're just quite a bit faster. Let's have a look at the level 16 talents for Team Alternate. Blood for Blood on Valor. Double Bombs on Zero Tool. Heart and Focus on Uther. Oh, well, Fire Stomp for Diablo. And Tenacious Roots for Malfurion. And that's the next tribute. Alternate, they should go for this. This could turn the game around. The third tribute going their way. They have the curse. They could finally take down the fort. So far, all, all forts are still standing for SK Gaming. But this could this could start a snowball effect for SK uh, for Alternate. We can make it happen. Aragi slammed into the back. Mobsio stunned there. They tried to make a move. This time, this was not bad. Or because they get easy and lightning breath and what? Are you kidding me? That is the power of Rhaegar and first aid. Keeping busy alive, and now everything's just gonna fall. And Vasiliano, can he be caught? Yes, he can. Lightning, chain lightning onto him, and that's again the ace for Team Alternate. 
And yeah, Nazebo is just gonna channel that final tribute, but they might just go for the kill now. Still 30 seconds left, they're just gonna bypass everything together. They took out a keep, so they're just gonna go for the core and should take a win here. 17 seconds to go, 13 on Diablo. Now that's not gonna be worth it. They just have that Twilight Ramp available for the Fury, but they're just gonna come in too late. 40% on the core. SK will take this game. And that means Alternate already lost two games tonight. And they're going up against Team Acer in their final match. In the final match for tonight and the final match for Alternate. And morale-wise, they're definitely not in the good spot. So you Alternate fans, you better come out and cheer them on.